Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Cora, and we're at the National Publicity Summit here with Bob Abrams. Bob, welcome. Thank you, Gabby. It's good to be here. <laughs> Pleasure to have you here. And tell us, you have some very exciting news about what you're doing these days. I've read it, written a new book, uh, my first book, called Papa Says. And after uh, being a parent and uh, living 60 some years, it's. Uh, and I had a new grandson, it inspired me to do little different things. And uh, I've given him a list of uh, things that I feel like he needs to do. It's a daily bucket list, a weekly bucket list, things he needs to do during his lifetime to help him get well-rounded. And as I kept developing it, I felt like it was something I needed to share with other people. So Bob, this is wonderful. Tell us a bit about how you came to this idea. Of, of sharing your gift and your experience with the world and you know with your family and your grandkids and pass it on well it, I'm a, an accountant by trade and I'm a list maker so uh, I'm sitting in front of TV and start making my list and instead of doing accounting list and work list I decided I need to he's got a birthday coming up he needs to know some of these things so this is lovely, and, and in your experience, I'm, I'm sure you've seen many other people who have never gone into the basics. So did, was that an inspiring factor there, too? I think, uh, yes, that um, we get so busy with our, our lives and making a living that we forget to, to impart wisdom. I know in my own life, I regret that I never sat down with my parents who are both deceased. I never uh, thought about talking to my grandparents and, and, and gathering the wisdom that they had to share with, the, with me and the family. And it's, it's lost. You know, once they're gone, it's lost. I don't want to, mine to be lost. So why don't you share with us some significant points that you um, that you wrote about in, in your book, some of the important lessons learned? Uh, number one and, and the last one, there's a group of a hundred. Uh, the first one is you can do anything. I want my grandson to start off feeling like anything in the world is possible. Uh, the last one is if I haven't covered it in the book and he runs into a question that he has, you know, uh, the last item is ask what would Papa say? In other words, consider others thinking before you make a decision. Could you elaborate a little bit more on that? Because I think it's a very interesting concept. Well, you know, we give kids guidance, but a lot of times, uh, I know in my own business, I tell my employees, uh, the worst employee I can have is the one that does exactly what I tell them to, because I can't think of everything that they need to do. They have to utilize their own judgment. And what I want my grandson to do is utilize his own judgment, but consider it in the light of what he's learned and what he's been taught. And, uh, the, uh, and in between there, there's things of have fun, you know, walk on the beach, uh, swing in the park, go to Sunday school, uh, learn handwriting. I mean, it's almost a lost art today, but uh, with computers, we don't need to do that. I didn't have anything, I don't have anything about computers, by the way, in my <laughs> book, or video games. So it's a lot about enjoying the journey. It's enjoying the journey. If you can't enjoy the journey, you can't enjoy the destination. And Bob, when is your book coming out? I'm expecting to be out uh, between right after Thanksgiving uh, of this year. And it, it's basically finished, but I wanted to attend the summit before I published it. Wonderful. And uh, how can people get a hold of the book? Uh, they can go online. It'll be available at www.pawpawsays.com, and that's P A W P A W S A Y S. Uh, we don't know if it'll be in any national change that yet or not, but uh, but it will be available online. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you for having me, Dr. Gabby. I appreciate it. My pleasure.